what's up guys and welcome to another vlog. I've got a little bit of a confession for you guys. Um, I have a little bit of food OCD. I don't know if this has ever happened to you before. Hey man, how's it going man? Wow, oh, mama food out today, bro. Same like me, man. Hey, yeah, same, bro. Same, man. Yeah, man. Mama food is the best, bro. Best, it's the best. Hey, best. I, actually, dude, I see like your sayo look, look nice, lah, bro. Ooh. Hey, the sayo like... Mmm. Hey, nice with the my sayo, lah, man. Mmm, mmm. Yeah, actually, your egg also look damn nice, lah, bro. Mmm, I'll take a bit, bro. Mmm. Your egg, ah, dude. Oi. I didn't forgot to buy egg, lah, today. Oi, nice, lah, your egg, man. Mmm. Hey, what's wrong with you? Lah? Uh, no appetite. Lah. No appetite? Why? Y yesterday sayo, ah, this one. Uh, something like that. Lah. <laughs> yesterday sayo still stays okay though. Don't worry, lah, bro. No, no food poisoning one. It's okay. So yeah, that's the thing, right? So let's say, for example, you have a utensil like a spoon or a fork and you've put that utensil in your mouth and then you take that utensil and then put it on like some of the food on my plate. That's it, man. That, that plate, that food is yours already. You know, let's say for example, you're in a place where you're sharing your dishes. All the dishes need to have the neutral utensil, which basically means that a utensil like a spoon or a fork or a whatever it is, right? That nobody is using to put it into their mouth. You know, the Chinese seafood restaurant, right? And then they got butter prawn, they got mixed vegetables. Don't use the utensil that you put in your mouth to go and scoop the food out. Come on lah, how am I supposed to eat the butter prawn after that? Got your saliva on it. And I don't know where you've been, man. You might have hepatitis or something. So make sure that you use a neutral spoon if it's going to be touching food that I'm going to eat. That's me lah. So I don't know whether that's OCD or whether it's normal, but it just kind of grosses me out a little bit. But still, not as much as this next one. So the thing is, right, I have some Arab friends, some Arab friends, orang Arab, right? So, anything about Arabs, culturally, when they're close to you, they do something that I'm not really used to. I understand Indians do this as well, and I'm sure not all Arabs do this, and not all Indians do this, but some do, and it's a sign of closeness. They will take the food that they're eating with their hand, and they'll want to feed you. Hey, Habibi! <laughs> How's it going, Habibi! Man? Oh, is this, is this dinner? This is dinner, Habibi. Hey, why don't you have some? Fresh, it's still very nice, eh? Eat some! Uh, it's okay, like, dude. No, I don't really, I don't really feel like I want to eat this. <laughs> hey, come on. Don't be a charbota. Have some! <laughs> eat it! Hey, it's good, eh, Habibi? Mm. Mm. Oh, it's delicious, but that's not the point. <laughs> now, I know it's a sign of closeness. I know that's sort of like how they show, like, hey, I'm close to you, I like you, hey, eat something. I can't eat that, man, I'm sorry. I know you're trying to be nice to me, but I can't, I can't do it, man. In fact, depending on how somebody eats with their hands, even that can gross me out slightly. When they eat, especially like some nice banana leaf, right? Crush everything, all the papadum into the rice, into the curry, some chicken and some lamb and everything. Oh, like ons lah, right? Even I also like to do that. But what I don't like to do, because even I don't like looking at it, is seeing somebody lick their fingers after that. Gross! Like, why would you lick your hand in front of me? So, what do you guys think? Does it gross you out as well? Uh, or am I just like very OCD? Things gross me out for no good reason. Let me know in the comments below if any of these things gross you out. If you like the video, please hit like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Share it if you feel like you want to share it. So until next time, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Ciao. Wow, your hair very curly, huh? <laughs> curly, curly, uh, your hair. Uh, what, curl, curl, uh, your hair. Uh, very curly, uh. What the fuck? Yeah, I've got curly hair. Holy shit. Yeah, you're totally talking to yourself. No, that would be crazy. I wasn't talking to myself. <laughs> right, so what were you doing then? <laughs>